All right. Oh, I've got a great show for you guys right now. I got a great show. You know, so many people uh, are like, when are you going to review toys again? When are you going to review toys? You're not doing enough toy reviews. I'm like, well, listen, <laughs> might be time to do toy reviews. Might be time to do some toy reviews. All right, hang on a second. Let me pull you up here. I'm going to stand up through this whole thing. You guys are like, you're getting lazy. You're sitting down too much. And I'm just like, well, what would you say if I stood up for an entire video? If I just stayed on my feet, if I did this uh, in my uh, yeah in my boots uh, and uh, all of that, you'd, you'd have to be impressed. You'd have to be impressed. Hello, everyone. Hello. Let's get some people filing in here. Yeah. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, what is this? Why is this here? Why is it? Okay, that's better. That's better. Hi, hi, hi. Um... Let's see. Subliminal says, I'm a brown-skinned Chilean South American uh, that just enjoys good comics. Uh, that's nice. Uh, wow, wow, yeah. We got a bunch of you guys pouring in here. Come on in, come on in. I I'll tell you something. Uh, I stayed away for a little while. I wanted to see some of the videos that you guys sent over. Um, I, I, I want to cry. My, uh, my audience is so beautiful. I mean, you guys, I got to see your faces. I got to see what you look like. I mean, people that I know. I mean... You know, I, I've seen your names in the chat. You know, I see your names in the comments. Uh, I know people who participate all the time. And it's like, I got to see you. Well, you, I mean, you get to see me every now and then, uh, you know. Um, but this time I got to see you guys. So I know what you look like. And uh, you're, you're gorgeous. You're absolutely beautiful. I couldn't ask for um, uh, more lovely uh, subscribers. I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible. Uh, those of you who are just joining me, I just asked everyone um, to, uh, if you are, and you know what, I shouldn't even do this. Like people said, well, yeah, but you know, you can let white males, white straight males, uh, do this as well. Yeah, I guess I could. I'm a white straight male. I like white straight males. Uh, we're all good. Um, uh, you know, I could, I could just let you do that and just, and just be like, accept from everybody and just make a massive video. So here's the idea. Um, the SJWs in this, in, uh, in comics, are saying that comics gate is a white supremacist movement, which is infuriating and very difficult to prove or disprove. Um, but you, it's slimy. It's a, it's an attempt to stain us. Uh, it's an attempt to make um, our fans, uh, comic fans who are, um, you know, gay or trans or people of color, um, want to stay away from us. Uh, and that's like, uh, yeah, it's a it's a dirty, filthy trick. It's a lie. Um, and, uh, I asked those of you in my audience who know me better, who've spent time with me, who know my heart and understand what the movement is about, that it's merely about kicking, uh, far left wingers who want to place their ideology over good stories out of comics and starting a new movement to make comics, um, more fun, more accessible for everyone, for everyone, regardless of your politics. Uh, I asked you guys if you believed in that, if you felt that in your heart, um, to send me videos, just little videos, look into the camera and say, I am the leader of comics gate and you can be too. And to email it to me. And I, I got a flood of them. Um, I am not going to edit the video. Uh, somebody said, why not have Ivan Ortega do it? I'm like, oh, holy hell, why not have Ivan Ortega do it? Of course, of course, Ivan Ortega should do it. So I'm sending them all over to Ivan and Ivan, we're going to talk it out. We're going to piece it together. We are going to make the most beautiful video uh, of just the, the spectrum of how, you know, how people look, like how our whole audience looks, how we're all different. We all look different on the outside, but we all love comics on the inside. And, uh, that is, uh, that is what keeps us together. And that's what makes us, um, you know, that's, that's the love that we have. That's our love. So, uh, and you guys are my love and, you know, it's, thank you so much for all of the videos. I mean, I must've gotten, uh, 40, 50 so far, 40 or 50 of them. I sent them all over to Ivan. I sent them all. I just sat there and forwarded them all to Ivan after watching them. And, uh, you know, uh, they are all good. I only had to send back one cause there was kind of like uh, a noisy sound. Like there's a brrrr in the background and I was like, okay, I want to use you. Um, but I, I need you to reshoot this video without the background noise. Other than that, uh, everything was perfect. Uh, people get to see my sausage fingers. Well, I, you know, I mean, uh, I did a video today where you could see all of me. I, I did a weightlifting video. Uh, so, I mean, I feel like you guys have actually seen my face today um, and all that. Uh, right. 
Uh, gatekeeping white males, uh, that's me. Uh, Bozu says, I'm white, is that so bad? No, it's fine, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it at all. But that's like not the point. The point is um, to suggest that comics gate is all white males is a lie and we need to disprove that. That's all, we just need to disprove it and, and show that you know, uh, it's everyone. Tippy tail McKitty, uh, I'm a frog supremacist. I kind of am too at this point. Uh, you know, I kind of want to just, um, I don't know, I want to empower frogs. Uh, and I have been. Uh, Heather Staggs, thanks for a $2 donation. That's kind of you. Uh, Don Glass, thanks for $2 as well. That's very kind of you for that donation. The Pee Wee, hi, $1.99. My daughter was so excited to do it. Yeah, she was a cutie pie. Uh, I, I sent that over as well. Uh, Don Glass, $2. Yes, uh, or we should do it for KK. We are Star Wars fans. Uh, yeah, we could do one. If this goes well, we'll see how this turns out. Let's do one for Star Wars Gate too. Let's do one for Star Wars Gate and just show them what we look like, you know, and just say, look, you know, we're not weirdos. We're not out to hurt anyone. We just want Star Wars to be good again. Uh, Darth Hammer says, uh, Ethan, EVS, eat pork, get gains. Well, I, you know, I'm, I've had pork. But when I, I had pulled pork yesterday. I had barbecue yesterday. It was good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? People are looking at the Comics Gate poster and they're saying, you know, what the hell? Like, um, where are the females? Uh, good question. None of us created any female characters. Uh, that's a bullseye. I mean, Heather Swain is in there. Um, Heather Swain is Cyberfrog's ally and, and friend, but, you know, she's not really a superhero, so I didn't want to throw her on the poster. Or I, it actually wasn't even my poster, um, but I, I don't know if she would belong on that poster. All right, look at this. Um, I went out to Walmart with Andrea, and I just said... Um, Oh, by the way, the bed sheets are still in here. I haven't opened them yet. Uh, I gotta, I gotta do that. I gotta do that. Yeah, we're gonna unbox some toys. Do you guys care? We'll just, just you know, look at some toys. Uh, I didn't even know these existed. Uh, if I had known these existed, I would have bought these a long time ago. Uh, these are uh, amazing. Um, Hot Wheels, of course. Hot Wheels actually doing more stuff. Uh, we, uh, why, 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 what? Yeah, yeah. Why, sh why do what? Show them. You want to see the sheets? Well, I will. I'm going to do it in a video. They're still in the box. I haven't opened the box that they came in yet. I'm going to do that all, you know, you want to do an unboxing video and do do it from the start. Yeah, it's got to be, you know, it's got to be, that's the whole point of the video. Uh, Seronis, thanks for $1.99. Would Star Wars Gate be called Stargate? <laughs> I think it would be called Star Wars Gate to avoid confusion. Yeah. Uh, Michael Balam, aka Mir Solon. Oh, it looks like you have a new name. That's good because I can never pronounce Mir Solon. Uh, thanks for $5. Have you seen Scott Adams stuff on persuasion? Facts don't matter. Uh, would still send a vid were I not a white male. Thank you so much, Michael. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen all Scott Adams ideas that, you know, uh, we are living in times where people, uh, in America are, are living through two different kinds of movies. Like some people are living through a movie, uh, just normal. Everything's okay. Uh, other people believe it's the end times and everything that they see is making them believe that it's even worse and worse and worse. Um, and that's sad. Uh, first appearance. Uh, I don't know what first appearance means on this package, but yeah, we have Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels, of course, uh, is the, um, I don't know. I mean, they're the ones who spoiled, uh, the fact, um, that, uh, what's her name? Uh, what was her name? Now, now everything from Soylo has left my brain. It's left my brain. I, I feel grateful for it, almost. Enfys Nest. Hot Wheels uh, was the was the I mean they licensed all these toys they they're allowed to make toys based on the on the you know characters in Star Wars, uh, they revealed they spoiled that Enfys Nest was a girl was a female and that was supposed to be a secret, um, yeah it is for the better. Um, let's see is that vehicle all alone no 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 I got I mean I, you know I got I got lots of stuff over here I got lots of stuff to go through with you guys all right. Um, and, uh, you know, look, by the way, this is the other thing about these is that it's, it's pretty embarrassing that they wouldn't even put Solo a Star Wars story. Like, why doesn't this say Solo? Why does it just say Star Wars? And I'll tell you why. This is just more evidence that they knew. They knew Solo was going to bomb. They knew it was going to bomb out. Otherwise, it would just say Solo, a Star Wars story, all over the packaging, wouldn't it? Why does it just say Star Wars in yellow? It just seems lame to me. It seems like, well... We want to keep this on the shelf for the next seven years, so uh, we will just uh, call this. Uh, we'll just call this Star Wars. Try me working suspension. Oh, really? I'll try it. Oh yeah, it does. It does work. It wiggles. Um, 
On the back, of course, your favorite Star Wars character cars are taking it uh, from the streets to an all-terrain in the galaxy uh, with... Uh, to any terrain in the galaxy with an active suspension and larger tires, these reimagined vehicles are designed for off-road domination. Uh, from high-speed chases to dangerous chance encounters, the most treacherous terrains uh, on the galaxy's most hazardous planets become an afterthought as you expertly navigate your way on to victory. Uh, get ready for endless fun that knows no bounds. Well, uh, you know, this will be fun for about three seconds, I think, before a kid uh, throws it out the window or just leaves it in the mud overnight. I would leave this outside. I don't know that I would take good care of this if I received this. I don't know that I would. I might. I might. Um, all right. Let's open this thing. <laughs> all right. Um, okay. Is there anything in here? No? All right. All right. So here it is. This is the uh, Han Solo truck. This is the Han Solo truck. Um, yeah, it does. Like, look, it's got. It does have suspension on it. Um, all right. It feels incredibly cheap. Honestly, it's just a little bit heavier than something that you would get in a Happy Meal. Like, if this came in a Happy Meal, I'd be like, yeah, that's about right. I'd say, oh, that's a pretty generous Happy Meal offering. Um, but at the same time. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's still kind of cheap. It's still kind of cheesy. I don't know what this is for, though. I don't understand why. I, see, I mean, I guess these are his pants, and that's his belt. I mean, it's so weird how they do this. Like, look at this. Uh, those are his pants with his Carillion stripe down the side of it here. And you've got his gun belt. And I don't know, uh, what this represents here. Oh, oh, the Millennium Falcon is on the hood. I'm charmed by that. Uh, I'm actually charmed by that. Uh, that's very nice. But what is this? What is all this nonsense here? I don't know. I can't really tell. It's got mud on it. Um, yeah, it, it it's like I'm dirty, Chewbacca. I'm dirty. Do you need to take a you need to take a shower with me, Chewbacca? Do you want to take a shower? Yeah. Chewbacca, do you want to take a long, lingering shower with me, your friend Han Solo? You might want to. That was the weirdest scene in the whole movie. That was the weirdest scene. If you haven't yet seen the movie, um, uh, and you, so you haven't seen the shower scene, I mean, I, I do have it here, of course, you know. Here it is. And I shouldn't have this. I mean, this is bootleg, of course, you know. Here it is. Oh, what the hell? And I shouldn't have this. I mean, this is bootleg, of course. I'm just like, I'm actually playing myself trying to play the video. How'd that work? That's weird. And I shouldn't have this. What the f... Guys, I've been incepted. I have been incepted. All right, let's try again. I can't believe that. That freaks me out. Long way to go for a camel. Yeah. Oh, that's the, uh, anyway, that's the clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's like, I, I gotta be more on the ball with my jokes. I gotta be more on the ball. Uh, that was, that was bizarre. All right, so we got this. Uh, I, he wants to take a shower with Chewbacca. A uh, good thing we also have the Chewbacca car. Uh, these are bizarre. Uh, these are really, really weird. I don't know. Every time they make a Chewbacca car, it's a strange, um, embarrassment. Uh, and this is no different here. So this is the first appearance I don't know if these, if they made more of these. Oh, they made it. Oh, Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. I saw Darth Vader there. I didn't buy it. And maybe I should have. Um, but I just stuck with the solo characters. I just stuck with the solo characters. Again, once again, doesn't say solo is Star Wars story. Uh, once again, uh, Chewbacca in these goggles looks pretty good. He looks pretty fetching. Uh, I do like that. Um, you can reach in here. Look, they have a hole here. So you're like, uh, oh. Oh, yeah, look, it has working suspension. You can kind of F with it a little bit just to prove that to yourself. That was nice of Hot Wheels. Your favorite. Star Wars character cars are taking it to the streets. This is just, this says the same thing as the other one. It doesn't say anything specific about Chewbacca. 
You wouldn't know this is Chewbacca unless you saw this right here. All right. I thought I'd have a good little essay on the back to read about why this car represents Chewbacca. But I don't get one. I want to take a shower with you. All right, let's get these two into a car wash. Yeah, that's, uh, that's very seductive here. Oops. Yeah, I'm having trouble today. I want to take a shower with you. Yeah, all right. Uh, Chewbacca has, um, I don't know what these are. Why is his face the front of the car? It really does remind me of, uh, what was it called? Auto Teen? We've been, oh, Turbo Teen? Turbo Teen. Turbo Teen. Yeah, that was the, um, that was the show from the 1980s. It was a creepy cartoon, uh, where this kid, like, he actually, he would grow, his hands would grow into tires, and he'd be, and he'd kind of crawl on, on all fours, and he'd become, you know, uh, he become a muscle car, and uh, it was creepy as hell. It was very, very creepy. Uh, do I like anything about this? I don't think I like much about this, to be honest with you. I like this better. I'd probably drive this. I would drive this if I were transporting uh, human remains. This looks like the car from Jeepers Creepers. Actually, both of these vehicles uh, look like they would be driven by the guy from Jeepers Creepers. You know, just building um, tunnels out of human bodies. Maybe you've seen that movie, maybe not. Hell, thanks for $2. Make Chewy Car uh, fight a hammer? Uh, that's a good idea. Would it stand up to a hammer? By the way, this is uh, actually die cast here. This is cheap plastic, it feels like. This is heavy. This would actually put up with a little bit. The undercarriage is cheap plastic. Like, I think I could probably break this with my hands pretty easily. Should I try to break it or no? Do these vehicles pop? Uh, I don't know if they pop. I could put them under my car, you know? Uh, I guess I could do that. I should try to break it. All right, I'm going to break it. I'm going to break it. We'll see if I can break this. All right, here we go. I don't know if I can break it. It feels like I can, but then look, look, look. It feels like I can break it, but then I don't break it. Well, uh, uh, yeah, you guys aren't impressed. Yeah, you guys are not impressed with me. Soy boy. Oh, my God. I can't lift more. Yeah, I got I to gotta lift more if I'm going to break this Chewbacca car. That's terrible. Well, I mean, look, uh, you know, salute to Hot Wheels. Yeah, I might be all the weight I left it today. I might be tired, guys. I might be tired after that. What do you mean, don't break it? I asked you guys if I should break it. Well, where's Rorschach? Can you get Rorschach in here? We'll see if he can do it. Rorschach can lift more weight than I can. Uh, Justin Ward, thank you for Canadian $2. Uh, looks like the dog grooming van from Dumb and Dumber. Inevitably, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like the dog grooming van from Dumb and Dumber. Who would want Who is this for? Who wants this? Is this for kids? Uh, is this for kids? Uh, Jay Simmerly, thanks for two hours, uh, for being the other person to remember Turbo Teen. Yeah, I mean, very few people do remember Turbo Teen. Uh, very few people do remember it. Uh, yeah, he, Rorschach is jacked. There's no doubt about that. Um, virgin Ethan versus the Chad. Tr I'm not a virgin at all. I've had sexual intercourse a few times in my life, like probably a lot of times. Micah uh, Mathis, thanks for a dollar ninety nine. Please tell me you were serious about the CG clips. Uh, I I am serious. Uh, did, were you not here in the chat? Uh, people were sending me really really good stuff. Uh, it is being um, uh, the, we're making. Um, I want to make one of those uh, public like PSAs uh, where people all kind of say the same thing but they look different and it's just kind of, you know, I am comic. I am the leader of Comicsgate. And then I am the leader of Comics Gate. I am the leader of Comics Gate. And then, and you can be too. Like that. I don't know. I have a vision. And probably I would want to play um, Fall Out Boys, uh, say rock and roll in the background. You know? Uh, I think that would be a good song to do this. 
um Rager Targaryen says Ethan I got your back on the I am Comicscape video coming up tonight oh you're gonna send me one too okay good 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 I have a lot of them already I don't know if I have enough use your toe thumb to strength to break it I'm trying wait a second if I just use my toe thumb this is what happens just using my toe thumb I mean that's pretty strong pretty strong uh I want to suck you says tabletop Joe uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the uh, monkey keys. I want to suck you. Uh, Fall Out Boy will sue you. Well, I mean, look, I'm not making money off of it. Uh, Cat Vega says, ew, gross. Cat Vega, you don't understand. It's it's not, I'm not, you guys, do you understand what the munchy cheese are? You know what the munchy cheese are? Some of you are young and you weren't around for the munchy cheese. You don't know what the munchy cheese are, but I'm, I'll show you what the munchy cheese are. I'll help you. Because the munchy cheese still exists in some capacity. Uh, these are, here's a whole store that does nothing but sell munchy cheese, okay? Uh, mm, mm, mm. I can zoom in on this, that would be nice, but if I can't, there we go. Goodness sakes. Yeah, look, uh, these are munchy cheese. Essentially, uh, this guy's like, what are you doing? What are you doing taking pictures of munchy cheese? Why are you, why are you taking pictures of munchy cheese? He's like, what the fuck is the matter with you? By the way, his shirt says, go get daddy's belt. No, it doesn't. It says munchy cheese. Uh, I'm going to make the same shirt. Uh, this shirt right here, I'm going to make it. It's going to have a, a monkey key head, and it's going to say, I want to suck you. I want to suck you. Uh, Brian H says, I have, I, I had sexual intercourse in Celsius t-shirt. Yeah, uh, I have. I've, you know. I have. I'm not. Why would I lie about that? I've had sexual intercourse. Like, multiple multiple times i'm not an incel i did i mean i have proof i have i have i have two kids yeah he's not happy uh this is a munchy chi up here uh these munchy cheese have been around since the 1970s um and basically like here's what they look like look at them uh and they're they have little sucking mouths and what they do is you can stick your, their thumb their plastic faces you can stick their thumb in there. This guy sells munchy cheese. Look, I want to suck you. It's got, her, her thumb's like right in her mouth. Okay? Uh, and um, that's what they do. I, I don't know why anybody would buy more than one of these. I really don't know why. I mean, what do you, because some of them come in. Well, these ones are yellow. You know, these ones are yellow munchy cheese. Uh, oh, my God, look at him. He's like, get out. He's like, do you see how tight and leathery my face is? He's like, do you understand that I'm on the verge of snapping? My skull is about ready to burst right out of my head. Uh, yeah, I sell munchy cheese for a living. You think I'm going to put up with you? He's like, don't think for a minute I won't stab you. Don't think for a minute. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't think that. Fine, I'll just take a picture and run. Uh, so yeah, the munchy cheese. Um, uh, I am going to make a shirt, like I said. What else is in? What's this guy laughing at? Yo, what's so funny, bro? You're in a store buying munchy cheese. It's not that funny. It's not that funny. What are you laughing at? Like, this has got to be the worst day of your life. You're in a munchy cheese store. You're buying munchy cheese. That's, I mean, that's... Yeah, not good, not good. Are they French? I don't know if they're French. What are munchy cheese? I'm not sure. Uh, but I do remember the commercial. It was like, munchy, chi, munchy, chi, with the thumb in her mouth. They're really neat. Something likes to hang from her stupid feet. Munchy, cheese, munchy, cheese, motherfucking, chi. Uh, that's what it was. And um, it, they were really popular in the 80s. Anyway, so munchy, cheese are going to be in Rainbow Brute. That's why uh, people are asking. Margaret Miracle says creepy stuff. I don't know why you think this is creepy. I don't know why you think this is creepy. Why? Just because this munchy chi has a clansman hood? You think that's cheap? Uh, that's that's creepy. Why does this munchy chi have a clansman hood? They're disgusting. Oh, so soft and cuddly. That's what Dave Jung says. Uh, I I don't know. Uh, Michael says gay and weird and creepy. Well, uh, you could say what you want about the munchy cheese, but they are going to be in Rainbow Brew. And uh, if you uh, don't like it, you can skip those pages. But my munchy cheese, and they're not going to be munchy cheese. They're going to be monkey keys. Monkey keys. Uh, they are going to fall out of trees, and they're going to insist on sucking your digits. 
They're going to like, all they want to do is like masticate your digits. They want to masticate your digits. Is that okay? Is that okay with you? What would you do if a monkey key jumped out of a tree and said, I want to suck you? Uh, I am going to make t-shirts with uh, just like this, like I was just saying. Uh, and tell me if you'll buy this. If you'll buy a monkey key shirt, like, kind of like this, um, but it says, I want to suck you. Yeah, yeah, everyone says yes. Everyone says yes. Everyone's saying yes, I will. Yeah, hide your digits. Uh, I haven't seen one no yet. Uh, not one, not one no. Uh, everyone's saying yes. Everyone, I might be in denial. I might be living in denial. I might be seeing what I want to see. Uh, but I, I don't see very many uh, no's, not very many. Uh, so you won't be wearing a monk. Uh, basically, what you guys are saying is no monkey key shirt with a I want to suck you on it. I'm taking a poll. The poll is saying nope, 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 nope. Are you being serious? Everyone's saying yes. <laughs> it's cancer. It's, it's not cancer. It's just it's the munchy cheese. Uh, why is this one wearing a big fat Hawaiian dress? Uh, not all of them uh, stick, Uncle. Well, I mean, some people would wear it. All right, a few people. Well, if I could just sell one T-shirt, it would be it would be worth it. Uh, I want crypto fashion to hear me say that. If I could just sell one T-shirt, it'll be all worthwhile. It would be all worthwhile for everyone's hard work. If I could just sell one T-shirt, it'd change the world. You change the you change the world one T-shirt at a time, one munchy chi T-shirt at a time. No, you don't. No. Now get the hell out of my store. All right, I'm getting out of your store. Jesus. Uh, what the fuck is this? Uh, I don't want a pansexual action figure. I don't want one. I never asked for one. I don't want one. I don't want one. I have too many toys that I'm trying to protect. Margaret Miracle says, you're delusional. Me? Delusional? Delusional? Me? Uh... Yeah, well, I'm not the one who's buying Dong Lover action figures, Margaret. Think about that. Uh, I haven't, I'm not the one collecting Dong Lover action figures. You are. So who, who is delusional now, Margaret Miracle? That's right. Look at his face, dude. Yeah, what is with his face? What is that? What are you looking at? Why do you look like that? Why are you doing that? Ridiculous. Uh, this is the black series. Uh, <clears throat> uh, this is this, this is the black series uh, that has nothing to do. Well, I mean, they called the they they called black series because uh, he. This is uh, uh, it's the color of the box. You know, it's it's not that. Uh, yeah, it's not that Lando Calrissian uh, is black, and that's not why they call it the black series. Even though uh, they also made a Finn action figure. And by the way, the two action figures that you can. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to get it back. I'm, I'm okay with my purchase. I'm okay with, uh, should I not be okay with my purchase? Uh, yeah. Uh, Skinny Ninja 420 says, recorded and sent my video. Hope you use it. Well, I will use it. Oh my God, just an essay. Oh wait, it's in different languages. It's in different languages. Smooth and hairless and sophisticated all over. Uh, Captain Pando Kavrasian. Stance ready to retire from the life of a smuggler and uh, instead become a full-time gambler or sportsman, as he calls it. Shuffling from card game to card game across the galaxy. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. Sounds like the kind of action figure. I want a retired gambler action figure. Uh, I want him to be smooth and sophisticated. I want him to be smooth all over. Smooth all over. Uh, somebody told me that uh, they knew the guy who designed every single one of these boxes. And I, I mean, I have to say, like, this is good. This is a great drawing. Uh, I hate these packages. I hate them. Uh, yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this packaging at all. It just, it screams, don't buy me. I don't know why. I mean, it, it, it's nice. It's classy. But there's something about it that just says, you know what? Uh, you don't know. And that's why all these Black Series things. And by the way, I, I have a few of them. I bought a few of them. Uh, people say, I like the box. I like the box. Thor Jones says it looks like a sex toy. Well, I mean, it kind of is. kind of is. Uh, Andrew Rotten. Uh, is that a Rotan? I don't know how to pronounce your name. I hope it's not Rotten. Uh, thanks for $5. Uncle, I lost my virginity while listening to one of your live streams. Thanks for being a great wingman. Well, that's what... 
you, you were listening to you were listening to me while you uh, I guess that makes sense I mean you know um yeah I could get the ladies in the mood for other people I suppose uh, just listen to your uncle Ethan bitching about Star Wars it's a real panty dropper. Hollywood Hulk Hogan, thanks for two dollars. How's it dangling tonight, brother? Well, our fandom is uh, twelve inches long and dangles. Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Well, theirs is like this, and we've said this many times: twelve inches long and dangles. Uh, theirs is uh, tiny and frigid. Uh, Nicholas Glenn, thank you for a dollar ninety nine. Do you watch Retro Blasting? His collection is nuts. He collects nuts. Hang on one second. Munchy, munchy, oh so soft and cuddly, with a gun in his mouth. He's really oh. all right. Wait, let me play just one second. I know there's pain. Tread the shade in the oncoming train. No one to blame for your unhappiness. You got yourself. Falsetto at the end. Had to get a little uh, bottle of water. All right, you guys are gonna have to hear me glug. I don't know. Uh, no, I don't watch retro blasting. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't do that. Uh, is it good? What does he do? What What does he do? Uh, copyright strike. Copyright strike. All right. Well, you know. Most of you have expressed deep concern about me staying hydrated. You said, Uncle Ethan, I don't even care about the glugging noise. I, I don't care. Like, we want you to just make sure that you're okay. Yeah. Um, all right, here we go. Let's open this thing. Let's open this bitch. Because this is America. Is that what his song was called? This is America? Nope, don't care. Yeah, all right. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. Hold on, I gotta have more water. It's just water, though. I mean, don't. Some of you are concerned also about the energy drinks. Um. Uh, I missed uh, super. Oh, I'm gonna go back. I'll go back and read super chats. Hang on one second. Uh, yeah, is it called this? I hate America or this is America? Mm. Good stuff. Uh, this is Dong Lover. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Super chats. Before we enjoy our Dong, let's just make sure we're caught up with super chats. That is important. Uh, the Vile Delinquent, thanks for $2. Has Nurkish sent you a video yet? Uh, that would be nice. What do you mean? Like saying, I am comic skate. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, uh, I would use it if he did. Uh, I would use it. Uh, but he hasn't. He hasn't. Uh, Economics and Comics, thanks for four ninety nine. Hey, Uncle. We did a vid called a Sketch Art Stories. You are in it. I uh, hope you'll watch it sometime. Please give us a shout out for our new channel. Uh, everyone, uh, subscribe to Economics in Comics. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, Sironis, thanks for a dollar ninety-nine. Rose Tico action figures, sixty-seven percent off on Amazon, two dollars and sixty-seven cents. So, two dollars and sixty-seven cent Tico is a good deal. That's about as low uh, as you can expect to pay uh, for a Tico uh, without it being some weird kind of clearance thing, uh, you know. So, I mean, a two dollars sixty-seven cent Tico. A good deal. Uh, so if you go to Amazon, you can actually go ahead and pick up some uh, Tico for under $3. Heath Lawrence, thanks for Canadian $2. Soy wheels, Ethan, straight to the garbage. Uh, yeah, th these are going in the garbage. I don't want these. Like, I have no I have no use for them. What, what would I do with these? Somebody said, does Ava play with this? No, she doesn't play with this. She plays with dolls. She doesn't want these. Uh, yeah. So, uh, 1986 MPV, uh, $5. That thing looks like the dog car from Dumb and Dumber. How fitting. That is correct. Uh, that is correct. Um, Snake Pliskin says, let me lube your tires. Uh, I just got to get to know you a little better first, Snake. Um, 
Uh, yeah. Um, and then also uh, Justin Ward says that it looks like the dog grooming van from Dumb and Dumber. So a lot of people feel that way. Uh, a lot of people feel that way. Um, uh, Richard Zavala, thanks for $2. Hey, Ethan, for Cyberfrog, love from Texas. Uh, thank you so much, Richard. I appreciate that. I haven't been in Texas for a little while. I need to go back there. Love Texas. And thank you for supporting Cyberfrog. How is Cyberfrog doing now, anyway? Let's find out how Cyberfrog's doing. I never look anymore. I, I need to promote my own project. I'm busy drawing it. Uh, it's doing good. It's uh, $431,000. 431000 Three hundred and eighty-six dollars. So thank you. If you would like to uh, back Cyberfrog Blood Honey by buying a copy, that'd be cool. The link is in the description. I would really appreciate that, guys. I appreciate your support. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Emery Calame, thanks for two dollars. This is the Galaxy. Don't let me. Uh, don't let me catch a slip in. Uh. All right, Emery. All right. Um, and then of course Andrew Rotten says that he lost his virginity. Um, that's good. I'm. I'm proud of you. I guess that was fairly recently. I mean, it had to. It would have to be because I've only been broadcasting for uh, since October. So, you know, uh, enjoy yourself, but be safe. Um, Rizikal, uh, Rizikai, Rizikal, thanks for five dollars. Retro blasting reviews and restores vintage Star Wars and GI Joe toys. Michael French is his name. The Toy Run podcast is another show you should try. Uncle Ethan, well, tr okay. I like toys. I mean, I like watching old toys get retro blasted. Um, I think. Uh, Andrew Rotten, $2. Also, Uncle, it is, in fact, pronounced Rotten. It's good to know. Uh, the Pee Wee, thanks for $4.99. My ears were violated listening to one of your live streams. Why, why, why? Uh, as opposed to losing your... Okay. Um, Himatlos, thank you for $5. Uncle E, uh, Hitball is on sale at Kroger. Uh, for God's sake, stop drinking Monster. Well, what do you... I'm drinking water. Why, why do you guys... You know, it's just... Uh, Nicholas Glenn, thanks for four ninety nine. Do you have any '80s Kenner Star Wars toys? Did you have them growing up? And if so, what is your fondest memory of them? Uh, 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 what is my fair? I don't have any right now. I, I I haven't been. My whole goal is to collect the original twelve in mint condition. Uh, that would be good. Uh, you know, but I I don't have any right now. I don't have them. Um. Uh, uh yeah. People are make fun of, making fun of the fact that I say, uh, yeah, uh, a lot. I don't mean to. It's just it comes out of my mouth. Uh, the Buzz General, thanks for $2. Monster has carotene. Bad for the heart. Drink bang. I'll just drink water. I mean, I, you know. Uh, Archibald Cruz, $2. Did you lose your virginity to L337 or Chewy's car? Uh, uh, neither. I mean, neither. It was a while ago. It was a long time ago. It was like, I don't know, like three years ago, you know, so. And I'm 43. Uh, R. Kelly, thanks for $2. Have you watched the documentary Batman and Bill? I did watch that. Um, that is, uh, that was an alarming, uh, and very sad documentary. Uh, you go through, uh, your entire life. Your one claim to fame, having created Batman, is all a lie. That's all a lie. That's gonna happen to me. I'm gonna have to admit at some point that I didn't create Atrocitus. You know, 50 years into the future, they're going to like be like, Ethan didn't even create Atrocitus. It was this other dude that nobody knows. And, you know, it'll be it'll be too late. I'll be dead. Uh, but then everybody will be like, he didn't create Atrocitus. What a jerk. What a jerk. I'm prepared for that. As long as I live through it. I just want to, I don't want people to know uh, all of the things that I created that I didn't really create because some guy that, some effing cuck that like I basically steal all his ideas. Uh, I'll wait until I'm dead and then that can all come out by that point. It'll be, yeah. A uh, King of Kong all over again. So that was sad right there. King of Kong. I watched that and I'm just like, I don't understand the world anymore. I don't understand how, and I like, I like Donkey Kong. Um, I, I like Donkey Kong. I play Donkey Kong. It is a challenging game. I'm very good at it. Uh, I'm probably better than that dude. Um, but, uh, yeah, to make that the basis of your life, to be like, I'm a winner because I, I hold the high score in Donkey Kong worldwide. I'm the best uh, Donkey Kong player in the world. I find that sad. I find that sad. What do you guys think? Uh, Billy Mitchell is a bitch, says uh, Ian McRae. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, the whole thing is weird. He got caught cheating, says Diane. Yeah, I, I think people all knew. 
Ryan G says, I created a trust that issue fraud. Oh, man, I knew it was going to happen sooner or later. Uh, Aaron Nottingham, thanks for $2. Did you create X-23 at Marvel? Uh, I, ha I, I might have to tell this story every single day now. Uh, yes, in a way. Do you want to hear the story or no? Or did we, Everybody's heard the story about how I created X-23 at Marvel. I used to put it in a video, but, you know, uh, the video gets kind of old, and then people don't see the video. And then they go, wait, we heard a rumor. You created X-23. How could that be? Hell, thanks for $5. All of EVS's ideas are actually my ideas, but I want to show support for my ideas, so I sent him Super Chats. Thank you so much, Hell. I, I do appreciate it. I hope you never run about out of ideas for me to steal. Tony Clark, thanks for two euros. Uh, you getting those gate videos in yet? I got tons of them. I haven't looked in a little while because I'm doing a live stream, but I've sent everyone that I had that I got in so far over to uh, Ivan Ortega, and I got to talk to him and, and, and get him. We've got to get on the same page. James Ridge, thanks for $5. When can we hear the water being absorbed into your small int intestine? Um, absorb or adjust your mic. Well, I mean, I don't, is it that noisy? Is it that noisy? I don't know. Uh... All right, so uh, X-23, uh, 1997, real quick, here's a real quick version. Uh, I created the idea of X-23. In 1997, Joe Casada was doing Marvel Knights. He invited me to come over to Marvel. He said, we need you to create a junior version of a character. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but um, I think the, the final project, the final version of the junior character turned out to be like Marvel Boy or something like that. It was Marvel Boy for Marvel Knights. Uh, I think that was the final version that they that they used. Um, but he said, we need you to create a junior version of a character. He offered me Silver Snowboarder, Spidey, or Daredevil Jr. I believe they were called. They were all terrible. I said, just give me a minute. Uh, I came up with the idea for Wolverine's daughter. I came up with the idea because I was watching Alanis Morissette's MTV video, You Ought to Know. It was brand new, and she looked crazy. Her hair was whipping all around. She looked like a nut. And I said, what if she had claws? So I created a character called X-32, codenamed Lynx. Lynx, L-Y-N-X. Uh, I liked it because there was an X in it, and it just seemed obvious. Like, that's what you should do. Um, yeah, e EVS created Nancy and Sluggo. Now, that's taken it too far. I, I didn't. Uh, isn't it ironic, Ethan, says Captain Crook? Uh, no. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I pitched this idea. I showed all the drawings to Marvel. Marvel loved the drawings. Uh, oh my God, Bob Harris jokes out. It's like, Bob Harris loves this idea. This is going to go somewhere. We're going to do this. And I said, okay. Um, and then uh, I went to DC Comics. And I went to DC Comics to do Impulse. I stayed at DC Comics for a long time. Uh, when, uh, while I was over there, Marvel tried out the idea of Wolverine's daughter two different times, I believe. And then ended up around 2001, I think. I don't know, maybe 2000. Coming up with an idea for a book called... Um, uh, you know, X-23. And I said, okay, that, that looks cool. That looks almost exactly like my drawings. Um, my character, uh, Wolverine's daughter, did kind of appear um, in uh, a book called The Remnants, which came out, I think, in 98, 99. Might have been 2000. But anyway, it predated X-23. Uh, predated X-23. Now, why, why was it... I, I called her X-32 because X-32 in the mirror is sex. Why is it called X-23? I... Don't know. I, I don't know. Um, but that is, uh, that is the story. So yeah. Did I create X-23? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Um, Case Seth says, EVS telling his X-23 story, Commander McBrag. I don't, it's not humble bragging. Look, uh, Heroes Reborn Remnant. So, yeah, you can see that kind of character there. Uh, EVS, is your favorite Marvel character Kamala Khan? Uh, no, my least favorite character. My least favorite character. How much money did you get for creating her, asked Michael. I got, I received zero dollars and zero cents. Uh, it, it didn't bump me up into a higher tax bracket. I, I received zero dollars. It's just an idea. You know, the idea of, of Wolverine having a little daughter uh, that's half Japanese or whatever. I, uh, you know, I mean, look, that's that's just hanging in the air. Once it gets spoken... Uh, anyone can take it, and that's kind of what happened. You know what I mean? It's just no. I'm not gonna sue. It's uh, that's there's so much of doing comics is about ideas and collaboration and all that stuff. Uh, EVS created Rainbow Soy. No, I created Rainbow Brute. You are the creator of Dust in the X Men. That is correct. 
Yeah, I created Dust. And Beak. And Glob Herman. And the Stepford Cuckoos. And Angel. And, not I mean, the new Angel. The little insect girl. Well, she's not an insect. But she's got bug wings, right? Um, what, else, what else did I create over there? I don't even know. A lot. I created a lot of uh, new mutants. Um, I didn't create the Grinch, though. Um, dust in the wind. Yeah. What do you think of that? You think created Spider-Man? I didn't. You know who did? Steve Ditko, and he has passed on. You created Beak? Damn, son. Yeah, I did. I did create Beak. New X-Men 117. Uh, stop, collaborate, and listen. And I own Beak, too. If, if Beak's ever in a movie, I get a check for, like, probably, like, $900. Ka-ching! Marvel is so cheap, dude. They are the worst. They do not pay. Uh, DC pays. I got it. You know what? I got my um, royalty check for creating Atrocitus in Injustice 2 this week. Um, yeah. And it was huge. It was big money. Big, big money. It was, well, it wasn't big, big, big. It was five. It was a significant five-figure check from DC Comics. And that is, uh, DC Comics is much, much better. Significant five figures, Michael. So it's not 10,000. It's not 100,000. But it's, you'd be like, oh, hey, this is a nice thing. This is a nice thing. Um, why won't DC health insurance pay to fix Scott Snyder's cre- All right, I don't know. That's awful. I don't know. Uh, imagine all the Ticos you could buy from the 900 if Beak is on the screen. Um, I received $900 because Angel was in first class, X-Men first class. I received $900. I was like, uh, thanks. I was hoping it would be more than this. Um, Professor Geek, thanks for $2. When will we see Cyberfrog's daughter, Robotad? We never will. He doesn't have a daughter. He does. He just doesn't have a daughter. Um, does DC match 401k? No, we're all freelancers. You know, we're all freelancers. There is no 401k. Marvel had that in the, you know, when I first went over there, like 2001, 2002, they had a 401k program. DC, I don't think, I don't think DC has that anymore. Uh, or if they ever did, you know, I've never heard of it, but, uh, Marvel definitely did have it. Um, uh, Mitch is finished over at the Umbrella Guy if you wanted to invite him over. Well, this is going to be a Star Wars show. I'm going to do another. I'm going to get back to work on Cyberfrog and then do um, another. Uh, I might do another live stream late, late, late at night tonight. Uh, this is uh, Dong Lover. Look at it. I mean, it's like, it's a, it's a chore. It's a chore getting him out of this box. Got a long phallic gun. And if you don't think that this looks a little bit like a sex toy, I, you know. And now that's in our head. I want to thank John Kasdan for, put, ah, for putting that. Uh, for, this is the. Uh, for putting that in our heads. Uh, that Lando Calrissian is some kind of bizarre pervert. I, I do want to thank him for that. Uh, Orgasmatron 1977. I'm ignored. Where did I ignore you, Orgasmatron? Why would I ignore you? I don't, you know, I was just looking down. If you said something important, I didn't mean to ignore you at all, you know? No. Why is everybody saying Fabio? You want to hear some Fabio? All right, let's go. I don't mind. I mean, you know, your wish, uh, your wish is mostly my command. You want to hear some Fabio? That's what we do. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I like this. Sometimes... There is no place I'd rather be than on a tropical island. special lady there are no phones to intrude on us fish from the water fruits from the trees and wonderful silence the only sounds we hear 
are the sounds of nature and of our hearts beating as one. And the only music is the music we make. How was that? Was that good? Okay. Uh, There's a little Fabio for you. That's something to think about. Okay. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So he's got a gun here. Let's put the gun in his hand. Uh, now he can act out that scene where he walks up to a brother uh, with a bag on his head. He's got his chest stuck out in a real weird way. And he just kind of does this. What does he do? Maybe it goes in the other hand. That was a disturbing scene where he's just like, Dun, dun, dun. His little midsection was all popped out, and he was just like, boof, and he blows this dude's head off. Why, why, why? Why did they do that? Uh, that gun is ridiculous. Somebody says it is. It looks like uh, it goes somewhere else other than this holster. It looks like there should be another place to put this gun other than this holster. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. Uh, this is Corellia. Uh, that's right, Pindrop. That is right. Um, feel cool. Says, hi, all. Uh, I'm going to put this in his uh, holster here. See how this looks. It bends. It bends. It bends. Like, look. Oh, snap. What? No. This comes off. I didn't break it. Does this come off? What is this supposed to be? Wait. Is it broken or is that a hole? Did I break it? How did I break? Oh, I just broke this too. Does this go back in? No, it goes back in. This comes out for other uses. This comes out for other uses. This is this is for something else. This isn't even, look, it goes right back in again. And then this comes out. And what do you do with this? This is highly disturbing. This is, this is not, a, don't you look at me right now. Don't you, 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 explain yourself. What is this? Why are you pretending this is a gun? This is not a gun. This is something else. What the f What is the matter with these toys? It's a, this is, is this the dong infiltrator? This is dong loving. This is pure dong loving. I don't like this. Yeah, it is a. It is porn. It is porn. I should have warned you. I should have had a porn alert. I should have warned you that this was porn. All right, don't buy this. Don't buy this. Do not buy this guy's gun. Do not buy a uh, Pando Calrissian and his penetrator and his 12-inch violator. Do not buy it. Do not buy this gun. Uh, this is disturbing. He's like, I'm going to take you straight to Cloud City, baby. Nope, nope, you're not. You're not. Knock it off. Good Gojurify, thank you for $5. That long gun barrel reminds him of an R4DX droid he met on Craxis years ago. Ew, yeah, probably, probably. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, we're, not, uh, we're not having any more of this. Uh, why did you break it? I didn't break it. Uh, that's what it does. It's not broken. It's not broken. You see this hole? You see this? This goes right in just like this. It go, it, this is Lando Cal Imagine this is Lando Calrissian. Imagine this is L337. It goes just like this. Like that. That is disgusting. Right in the hole. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is, I know it looks like porn. Well, what, what do you expect? Of course it looks like porn. Look what happened. Oh my god. I don't even know. I'm really sorry. I feel like I've let you guys down. I feel like uh yeah, I feel like I've totally let you guys down. I hope there are no kids watching. You know what? I'm not gonna take any blame for this. This isn't my fault. This is completely and totally Hasbro's fault uh for this. Uh and they didn't and they didn't warn me about this either. I don't you know, I don't know. Why do his legs do that? That is disturbing right there. That is just all kinds of wrong. 
Um, I didn't buy a sex toy. I didn't, I didn't buy a sex toy. Uh, no, I, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Uh, four stars says it's ribbed for robot pleasure. Ew, do robots feel pleasure? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if they do or not. I don't know. Uh, sex toy confirmed. Uh, is this bootleg Star Wars? No, it is. This is really like Black Series uh, Star Wars toys. So uh, I'm sorry about this. I wasn't, I didn't buy this from a sex shop. If I bought this from a sex shop, I wouldn't be outraged. I would know what I was getting into. I didn't buy this from a sex shop. I bought this from Walmart. Is Walmart a sex shop? Of course not. I mean, it's sexy as hell. Walmart is sexy as hell. Uh, but it's not, you know, I didn't think that this would happen. Goodness. Uh, Daddy Dingus goes, liar. I, I, how could I lie? Uh, put the silencer in his other hand. Somebody says, all right, I will. That's not even a silencer. Look at that. It, there's no, without it, the, there's no gun barrel. There's no barrel. All right, here we go. Hey, hey. Oh, I got this perfect pose. Look at this. Hey, hey, yes. Looking for fun. Looking for a good time. Um, all right, everyone. I don't know what else to say about this. This is disgusting. I'm really, really sorry about it. I'll put him back. I'll put his cape back on. I apologize to everyone who I may have offended. Uh, inadvertently, completely inadvertently. It wasn't my fault at all. I didn't mean to show you this. I didn't mean to ruin your night. Uh, I, a complete accident. Uh, Michael Beacon, thanks for two hours. I'm ruined forever. Uncle E, I'm damaged. Because I know, I'm sorry. I'm. So How many more times can I say I'm sorry? Uh, this is America. That, uh, yeah, is this America? That's bad news. That is bad news. Um, let me put this tie back on him. Oh, shame on you. The things those hands will get up to. The things those hands will do. Very, very disturbing and very disappointing. So these are the toys uh, that I wanted to show you tonight. Uh, they all suck. Uh, they all completely suck. Uh, I wouldn't buy any of them. I think they're all going in the garbage. Uh, uh, somebody blames Obama. Brandon Moist, thanks for $2. I am shook. Oh, I... Uh, Melancholy, thanks for two hours. When was Rose Tico lazy writing named after a pencil? Is it named after a pencil? I don't know. What we figured out is that Rose Tico's name rearranged is so erotic. You rearrange the letters in her name, it's it's so erotic. And I agree with that. I have no problem, uh, no problem with that. I think it is erotic, very erotic. All right, guys, uh, I, I guess I'll let you go. I mean, I've been keeping you here for an hour. It's been an hour. You know, do I want to do I want to keep boring you? Do I want to keep boring you all night long? No, I, I don't want to keep boring you all night long. Uh, Butter song. Uh, it might be we might do some piano. Well, n more hours. I get, uh, Willis, one cookie for you, Willis. I only played that song once. I only played One Cookie for You, Willis, one single time. And, you know, it didn't go over well. People yelled at me about it quite a bit. Um, yeah, I have a new version of The Power of Love by Huey Lewis in the News that I play. That's pretty good. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, somebody asked me to play it, and I was like, yeah, I can figure it out. And now I can play it. Um, Alex Court, thanks for dollar ninety nine. Solo figures don't even sell at clearance prices. No, they they suck. They suck. I played Willis twice. Uh, Fox Drake three sixty says, says, please don't sing. All right, I won't. Fox Drake uh, three sixty says, don't sing. I won't. I, I think that's uh, that's a, a sturdy request. Um, not to sing. Uh, play Misty says, Tippy Tail McKitty. I don't know how that goes. Uh, do people do like my Wilson Phillips stuff though? They like all my Wilson Phillips covers. What other Wilson Phillips songs are there? Are there other Wilson Phillips songs that I need to learn how to play? Let me see. Let's look up Wilson Phillips songs and just see what there is. I don't think there are any more Wilson Phillips songs. Uh, White Snake, White Snake. Uh, greatest hits of Wilson Phillips. Hold on. You won't see me cry. I don't know that. I know you're in love. They're like, you're in love. That's the way it should be. Because I want you to be. That's it. Those are the only songs that I know by Wilson Phillips. Uh, yeah. 
Ew, they did a cover of Hotel California. I don't think so. I don't think so. No, thank you. Um, you Won't See Me Cry is awesome. Um, all right. I don't know that song. Uh, Give It Up by Wilson Phillips is good, too. Give It Up. Oh, it's here. Yeah. It's in the best of. Give It Up. I don't know it, though. I don't I don't know that song. Uh, I would like to play, but I, it's, there's been a request that I not play tonight, so... Uh, we won't, uh, Jimmy the Pirate, thank you for two dollars. Cecil is responsible for this. I don't have to. I don't think you should blame Cecil for everything. Uh, you don't have to blame Cecil for everything, uh, do you? Oh, how with it? Let's sing a song. Let's sing a song. As you can see, the mess on my floor from uh, playing with toys. Not great. Oh no, I can't play. Here's why I can't play. Um, because I took. Uh, I guess I can fix it. I took this stand that I traditionally use. Uh, I guess I have to undo this. This is where I usually hook up my, uh, you know. And just put this right back where it was. Let's put this here for one second. You guys be patient. I haven't gone anywhere. I'm right here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I need I need one more of these. I need one more because uh, obviously, if I'm going to be doing uh, all of my workout videos, and I am going to be doing all these workout videos for you guys, you're going to see your Uncle Ethan become uh, a man. Like, what's that character? What's that character from Master of the Universe? What's that character from Master of the, of the Masters of the Universe? The real tough one, the real strong one. Uh, Adam, Prince Adam, Prince Adam. Yeah, I'm going to be like Prince Adam. Uh, from Masters of, <laughs> Masters of the Universe. No, not Fisto. Not Stink Whore. I don't want to be Stink Whore. All right, hang on a second. Mess all over the floor every single time. All right. Gosh. Should I become Skeletor? Somebody says play Jerry Lee Lewis or your guy. A lot of echo on my piano tonight. I 
here it is. The power of love is a curious thing. Make a one man weep, make another man sing. Change your hawk to a little white dog. More than a feeling, that's the power of love. And it don't take money, don't take fame. Don't need no credit card to ride this trebuchet. It's slow and it's certain it can be sometimes, but it might just save your life. That's the power of. shelter is pretty nice I took John F. Kennedy's advice it's full of things I like a stationary bike powdered milk slim gyms and rice it's not as if I asked my spouse to excavate beneath our house she told me it was silly. She said, now come on, really. There's only so much she allows. And it's a gosh darn shame because when the bombs are exploding, you'll all be freeloading, but I'm prepared, you see. With a mushroom cup blooming, there's just enough room in my bomb shelter for me and maybe my cat. What do you think? Bomb shelter has bonsai trees, a generator with BVDs, but it's only one man sized. So while you're vaporized, I'll enjoy its amenities. My bomb shelter is mine on mine, so I don't want to hear you whine. It won't seem so dumb when the zombies come and I'm watching what's my one. Let's see if you're cocky when it's Nagasaki outside in your little town. You look so radiation while I'm on vacation 25 feet underground. I'll be drinking milk and pajamas made of silk. My bomb shelter is pretty nice. I took Barry Goldwater's advice. You guys hate this song. You hate it, but I'm going to play it anyway. Sonny Bono, though. 
Kowalski's and in your wisdom strike William Shatner dead strike William Shatner dead over the mourners have gone with their weeping and tired nerves I didn't know Bill Shatner but when a funeral's on I come for the hors d'oeuvres and I don't know if there's a heaven now looking down on us today but if ghosts are real and Bill is here, there's something I want to say, that you look sexy in your coffin, you look like elegant Elliot often, you look sexy in your coffin, Bill, so rest. nothing to eat except for the meat you hear that echo that once was your friends who lived up the street and i say the last piece of george for you though i gorge on the other two i say the last of george for you and i say of George for you. Attack of the Clones was episode two. And I saved the last of George for you. You were so right the other night. If there'd still be room for Dwight Now we'll make amends when our dinner day ends But I've gotta say, you've got great taste in friends And I say the last piece of George Lucas for you He was vegan if he's tough to chew I don't think he is vegan But I say the last of George for you of George for you he was vegan so he's tough to chew but I saved the last of George for you you finish what you started to say but Beyonce had 
not the best video today And I'm sorry Here's your microphone back Goodbye Just cause I'm leaving Doesn't mean I'm no good An acorn Will give you some wood If you're patient Hold your breath and smile Box of shorts have a button up fly. Calvin Klein must imagine that I am too lazy to slide him down. But he's wrong, he's wrong. Have to ask him, what is it for? Feel myself caught in a dual trap door. Out my dawn. I'm gonna let you finish If you prepared a little speech But there's no future For Chong without Cheech And I'm sorry Here's your microphone back Goodbye That's <laughs> cheesy. One more. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? visions that only illusions and rainbows have nothing to hide so we've been told and some choose to believe it I know they're wrong wait and see someday we'll find it the rainbow connection the lovers the dreamers and me and jordan peterson who said that every wish would be heard and answered when wished on a morning star somebody thought of that Someone believed it Look what it's done So far What's so amazing That keeps us stargazing What do we think We might see Someday we'll find it The rainbow connection The lover the dreamers and Cecil <laughs> bye guys I'll see you later <laughs>